when you stare into the void, the void turns white. Bandai Namco Games, bringing you shitty anime games since the mid-2000s. Yeah! Brought to you in part by Digital Audio. By viewers like you. Ooh, a giant fox. Yeah, we're playing Naruto. Oh. Wait a minute, this ain't what I signed up for. You said specifically that we were going to do Bleach, and I said, yeah, let's do it, but this ain't Bleach whatsoever. No, that's the next one. Oh. <laughs> well, call me when you're ready to do that one. No, we get to see shitty anime ninjas. Ninjas? These don't look like ninjas. Where's the black? Okay, that guy's you kind just of a ninja. The black. <laughs> uh, that guy's definitely not a ninja. He's dressed up like he's going hunting. He certainly would stand out anywhere he tried to hide. Exactly. That's that is the most impractical outfit for a ninja. Straight up orange. I don't know. One of his companions wears straight up red. Yeah, that's true. But look at all this stuff that we get to experience. And then there's this one thing that every YouTuber on Earth made a fucking AMV about. To their favorite Linkin Park song. And that was the end. LP over. Alright. Now let's get on to Bleach. Oh wait, I forgot about the post credit scene. Oh god, he's dead. You just spoiled the ending. He's dead. I don't care now. So welcome to Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. A rather lackluster fighting game. And first I have to go through all the stuff for unlocking the DLC. Oh, oh well, here we go. Gotta get the cash from the servers. There we go. So yeah, we have the story... Your basic fighting mode and options. That's it. <laughs> Dang. This is really bare bones. Compared and to the you other can games. Only... <laughs> and you can only have one... Uh, I guess it's save for the story per profile. Well, you had to start a whole new profile to do a new state uh, save? Bleh. Kind of. Oh. I was using my Japanese profile. Oh, so does this mean we're going to get d Japanese dialogue and subtitles? No. I no, only used no. it for, uh... <laughs> I only used it to get DLC for imported game. Oh, okay. Well, there goes the leaf. It's not so much hidden anymore. <laughs> and here's a scene retconned many, many times over. It was a dark and stormy night, and then this nine-tailed fox, count them, nine attacked a forest or was it a village? I can't remember. We'll retcon it. Suddenly? suddenly? No, most of these names I do not recognize at all. <laughs> I recognize Liam O'Brien, I recognize. Yeah. And Steve Prince. Though I recognize Liam O'Brien not because of Asura's ref, but because he did all those voices for random uh, Fallout New Vegas NPCs. I know mostly because he's uh, Caius in 13-2. Because I really hate fighting Caius. Oh god, someone just opened the Ark of the Covenant. The fourth, the fourth Hokage, who... It's pretty obvious who he is when they actually show it to you. Oh, is he Jesus? Four years later. You know, they're not doing a really good job hiding that leaf. It's all up in the camera's <laughs> face. Look at this really huge map full of people. Look at this really orange kid that's running on everything. He oh, of course, no he's a ninja. He has to property. run on everything. <laughs> Quentin Flynn! 
Ruka sensei, I shit my pants. Ah, oh, Naruto, Again? what did I tell you? It's very subtle. Very deep. Look at the leaf. We will see it again one day. <laughs> Look at this nice little load screen. You'll never have to see it again because it's about half the game and I cut it out after this point. Huh. Oh, look at all the people. Oh. Oh, here we go. No, now we have to focus on these two idiots. Ching! Sparkle, sparkle. Well, you finally became a genin, huh? I did it. You finally graduated high school, you dropout. Now I have to think about ninja college. Ninja scholarships. Ninja sports. Ninja football. Man. I'm growing up fast. I don't have to fight any more evil teachers trying to use me for their own evil gains. Although I probably should do that more often because it gets me pretty cool swag. Like this cloning jutsu, am I right, Ruruka sensei up top? <laughs> the thing that caused me to fail like five hours ago? Because <laughs> I can't do the actual cloning technique you wanted? <laughs> I can be Ninja President, Barack Obama. <laughs> but before that, I gotta get something to eat. You got then food right eat, in front of you, you dumbass. That ain't eating. Look at you. God, how do I put up with this? That kid? smile is very creepy, Aruka. You know, it was in his again. yearbook. He had that exact same smile. Was that before or after the murderous rampage? Uh, who knows. So, did you like the cutscene? Yeah? Good, because we're not getting another cutscene until about halfway through the game. What? Yeah, this game is not very good with its storytelling, even though this is the story mode. Well, it's the first game. They they had to learn how to utilize the storytelling technology of the time. I guess. We've got to get all these tutorial windows out of the way. All right. And break objects to get money. Okay. Summon up our, our little reticle for whenever we need to pee, I guess. <laughs> Why is it coming directly out of that? that? It literally looks like this is where you're going to pee now. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> Man, Naruto really needs to go. See, uh, oh, here's the Gears tutorial. of War part. Yep, we have uh, behind-the-back aiming, which is only important in the overworld. Great. And this and is probably going to be the most useful grinding. part for shurikens. Ninja stars. I don't know my ninja tools very well. Yeah, I think it's shurikens. Alright. I didn't make myself look like a dumbass. <laughs> In front of all my ninja brethren. I'm still trying to get a handle on the controls since it's been years since I played this. This place is so really bare. There's get... like four people out on the street when there was like f 10 to 15 just a couple seconds ago. <laughs> what do you want, Ramen Why, Man? yes, we're going to help you. Because you had the mission icon over your head. He I wants mean, us to bring us ingredients. Oh, okay. it's only going to take the whole damn game. <laughs> what? Oh, boy. Ramen man keeping his clutches around me just because I eat at his place. Like, literally, the last ingredients don't unlock until after you finish the last mission. Great. 
and all of our missions are kept in this handy dandy mission list. Huh. Which is divided up into a bunch of scrolls. Okay. We have one scroll for all our story missions. Uh huh. Then all of the rest of our side missions are divided by difficulty and or place we get it during the story. This is kind of very uncharacteristic for Naruto. I can't imagine him actually organizing anything. Ever. Well, he's not organizing it. This is the mission givers organizing it for him. <laughs> Alright, Naruto. Be sure to take this folder back to your parents, so that way they can see all the nice things that you did at school. But my parents are dead! Oh. Right. We'll show it to Aruka sensei <laughs> I think that's the closest thing to a dad he does have. He's not a really good dad either. I mean, the, I mean, a dad that keeps taking him out to fucking ramen. God, that kid probably never experienced the taste of a burger. Oh my god. Gasp. So yeah, this is the mission we got from talking to the ramen guy. Eat all the new ramen, which you have to bring the ingredients for. God, better be free. Over here, we have the general store, where we can buy collectibles. Oh, Which include pre-rendered models. Come here, Sasuke. Let me give you some smooching. I hope you have the Sakura figure in your other hand. <laughs> oh, Sasuke, I love you so much! <laughs> <laughs> and then they the kiss. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate jutsu moves just kind of do a demo of the ultimate finishers we'll see during the fighting mode. And over here, this woman has an exchange mission for us. Gross. Basically, we bring her rewards from our fighting missions and give them to her. You well, know those useless things you get for missions? Well, I want them. And I'm pretty sure there'll be many others to come. About six or seven. Ugh. Most of the other item fodder you get goes towards ramen and another item shop. <laughs> and you course. see how big this map is? Yeah. You see how we're the little white dot in the center? I do now. <laughs> this is not a fun map to run around, which is why I'm cutting out all the travel time. Oh, okay. And for some reason, a vegetable shop buys mushrooms. Well, mushrooms are kind of like vegetables, I guess. Not the ones we're getting! <laughs> oh, he's, he wants those mushrooms. Well, I ain't your dealer, son! This is... I'm By the way, Nox. the fruit shop buys walnuts. Or and nothing else. Acorns? Something? No watermelons, no apples, no... no I kiwis. think all in all there are four things you could sell to the fruit shop. Apples, cherries, and two different kinds of walnuts. So Pac-Man power-ups. Yep. Oh, hey, Aruka wants us to do something. Uh, I'll do anything for you, not dad. He wants us to find secret scrolls that are scattered around the village. Oh, okay. No problem. I got you. We have to collect them and bring them back. Because when we exchange them, we get support ninjutsu. Oh, okay. Which is used to customize our support characters. Which is kind of confusing because anytime I use them, it almost looks like all of it's unlocked to begin with. Oh. Huh. Aruka, are you trying to scam me? Items. We can buy items to use during battle. But it's not... It's not very intuitive. How so? Because to use these items you're buying, you have to first use one of the items you start the battle with to clear the slot, pause the battle, go into the menu, load it into your item slot, and then resume the fight. That sounds stupid. Yes, which is why I don't really do it until, like, 
two missions at the very end. Man, we're flat broke. We have 94 well, Of course, we wheel. just had ramen. The shuriken holster I'm highlighting, that just increases the amount of things you can target in the uh, behind-the-back third-person firing mode. Do you accept ninja food stamps? <laughs> anyway, our first story mission. It's to fight Kakashi. And this is how they tell the story. Dear Journal, I became a guinea. And I really like Sakura. She's so dreamy. But Sasuke... Actually, the way it's written is like Naruto's journal. Oh. It's all from his perspective. I like to imagine Naruto's actually dug funny. Or I've got an idea for a pretty great fanfiction. <laughs> <laughs> so, battle conditions for stories, it's usually win the battle with not being able to go into your superpowered mode because it has story spoilers. <gasps> My head cannon. Alright, let's get started. Alright, easy there, Tiger. Whoa. I didn't know we already had nicknames for each other, Kakashi Sensei. Does that make him the White Tiger? I guess so. <laughs> so. <laughs> fighting is pretty easy. There's one button for attacking and pulling off combos, one for charging your chakra, one for throwing. Shurikens, and one for jumping. And look at all these combos we're never going to use. Alright! I'm gonna do them right now. Circle, 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 circle. And then what? we have to separate the basic commands. Why do you need a tutorial for getting up and moving? Haven't you figured this part out yet? Have you ever played a video game? Well then, let's see, we have Guard, which is explanatory. You have Substitution Jutsu, where if you guard at just the right, very tight timing, you'll actually disappear and appear behind your opponent. Mm. You also have the Ultimate Jutsus, which are done by tapping the Charge button twice, then hitting Attack. And Regular Ninjutsu by doing Charge, then Attack. The Storm Gauge. Those are those little flames right by Naruto's head on the health bar. Okay. They make oh. our ultimate jutsus more powerful when it's full. Okay. And while I'm explaining this, Kakashi is kicking my ass. Well, this is about the only time he's ever gonna kick your ass. <laughs> it's the only time I'll let him near my ass. Ugh. You hear that, Kakashi? We know what you've done with your fingers. <laughs> we hope you wash them, too. Well, they are in gloves right now. That don't mean nothing. Oh, wait, no, those are fingerless gloves, damn. <laughs> Is Kakashi a biker? <laughs> oh god, you're on fire, what? Oh, hey. Yeah, that's because I maxed by Storm Gauge. And now Ultimate Jutsus, they all have quick time buttons in the corner. You and your opponent try to out quick time each other. And if the if the one having the attack performed against them outdoes you, the Ultimate Jutsu fails. But the AI is stupid, so you're most likely going to win every time. Huh. And thankfully Kashi. they dropped that mechanic. <laughs> they dropped that mechanic after this game. Thank goodness. Woohoo! I got a paycheck for beating up my teacher! And some flowers! To lay you on his grave. Too. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kakashi! So after every mission, things unlock. For some of them, you get diorama bases, which is what you use the figure's ultimate jutsu demos and music for. Okay. They basically create little rendered scenes from the manga and the anime. Oh, 
Okay. Flashback missions. Too many <laughs> damn tutorial boxes. Flashback, flashback missions are just when Naruto has war flashbacks. So you see all those little yellow dots? Yeah. yeah? Those are the secret scrolls Uruka wants us to collect. Okay. They spawn after every single completed mission. Uh-huh. But first, we're going to prove how useless the mini-map in the corner is as I try to find the uh, mission character there. Where is he? There he is. Oh. He's hiding in the corner. Thanks a lot, mini-map. This guy also wants us to bring him shit. But we can bring shit to the first woman who asked us to. She is not able. Besides, she Somehow she cannot first. find three red flowers. They're right there! Right there! Right next to you! Look to the right! Those are red flowers. Because we need to decorate her alcove. If With you three know what flowers. I mean. And now we're collecting an ingredient bag that spawned for the ramen mission. Most of them are going to be behind doors with switches. That you have to lift these barrels and boxes to activate. I'm almost there. Uh, Man, this is a really elaborate scheme for getting fucking... Ingredients? Ramen, ramen guy, yeah. where, where do you get your ingredients from? That chicken was lying on the floor of a dusty, locked shed, basically. Blech. That's not gonna make tasty ramen. This woman is giving us another side mission. Relax Konoichi. As opposed to tense Konoichi. What? They're just sitting out in the middle of nowhere? Yep. Aruka sensei the big ones what? are worth ten. Mm. As I said, secret scrolls. I'm getting a feeling that Aruka sensei set this up to make Naruto feel "quote unquote" better about himself. Yeah, they're either lying out in the open, or they're in crates floating above rooftops. Okay, I can kind of understand the the crates part, but god damn it, Aruka. Somehow I managed to miss the one crate. Well, he he it, it had uh, invincibility frames. See, it's it knows what you're trying to do. Anyway, that's it for the first half of the tutorials. <laughs>